Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. This is the Electricians in Action where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. So I just want to encourage you today to keep going and keep grinding. Let's go ahead and get to it. So today I want to talk to you about something super important that if you don't watch it, you can get burned by it. I've been burned by it in the past. So I'm going to give you this scenario. You've come to a home. You're getting ready to install a generator. You're wanting to put a whole house transfer switch. Now that makes your new... Um, now that's your first point of disconnect. So inside that home, and we'll say in this scenario, used to be your first point of disconnect, okay? You had your grounds and neutrals bonded together. And this is what I want to talk to you about. Some equipment, and it's right here, some equipment is suitable only for use as service equipment, meaning that it you only can bond the grounds and neutrals. They cannot be separated, period. doesn't matter what you do. It's only suitable for use as service equipment. Some of it is um, service equipment, but can be used as a sub panel if you use a certain set of kits or accessory kits. Okay, so it's designed for um, service equipment, but if you add these kits, you can separate the grounds and neutrals. With that being said, some of them you can use in reverse order, and this one is suitable for use as ser service equipment if you follow these things and you're going to use one of these kits right here. So it all boils down to whether or not it was designed to be converted back and forth. Some of them and a lot of them nowadays, especially regular panels, are listed for both. If your panel comes with that strap in it or the green screw, right off the jump, you already know it can be used for both. You back the screw out if it's the second point of disconnect, you screw the screw in if it's the first point of disconnect. So that means it's listed listed as uh, suitable for service equipment and for what we call a sub panel, a panel anywhere past the first point of disconnect. With that being said, what happened to me, we were out on a generator and, you know, we did the swap out. It was one of the really old panels. We didn't have to touch anything inside except for separating the grounds and neutrals. I picked up a listed bar that's listed for a ton of panels, separated all my grounds, but my inspector came in and said, you're not allowed to do that inside of this panel because of what it says here on the can. Thankfully, we kept reading and it said suitable only for use as service equipment, dot, 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 unless you get this specific ground bar kit. So what we had to do is literally go on eBay. We found a listed, uh, you know, it was the original ground bar or neutral bar kit, an isolated neutral bar kit. We installed that neutral, uh, the isolated neutral bar kit, and he allowed to let it pass. He let it pass that day, and then he allowed us to go back and correct it. Some of them are listed only for use as service equipment. So you cannot go into that can legally and separate the grounds and neutrals. So I just want you guys to keep an eye out for that before you go do an automatic uh, whole house transfer switch, or if you, before you go put in a meter disconnect combo, you've got to make sure you go inside and make sure that that thing is listed and suitable to be converted whether you back the screw out take the bonding strap out or if you have to buy an isolated neutral bar kit to make it code compliant this is the electricians in action Whew, let's go ahead and get to it